All right, so I'm all my First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakaq, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teach his word in our true faith and sincerity. And yeah, today, I uh, pretty much just want to get into a lesson on declaring the words of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, with understanding, you know, because. You know, this is how Yahweh by Hashem is is known by the judgment which he executed. And it lets you know that every event, everything that happens is not just something random, man. No, this is all a part of the will of Yahweh by Hashem See, it was a reason why Egypt was set up and thrown down. You know, it was a reason behind, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah being destroyed. And same thing you got now. It's, it's a reason why all hell is going to break loose. All we ultimately to the overthrow of America by the way of World War Three. You know, when the smoke clear, we're getting these, um, these leaders, you know, these especially these elite bankers, get them out of, these, out of their, uh, their bunkers and throwing them in the slate. It's a reason behind all this. And that's what we're doing. We're declaring the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We're understanding, man. You know, so I'm going to start out with this. Um, Book of Psalm 9 <clears throat> and uh, 16. He said, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. See? That's what he's known by the judgment which he executed. And guess what? Is is declared before it happens. Just like back then in Egypt. It wasn't it wasn't like all them plays and everything happened before. And then after, you know, somehow, some way the Lord name got around. No, it was being declared. You know, that it was the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, that's, that's the one that's bringing forth these plagues. So when it happened, you know that it was him for a fact, man. And that's how the fame of the Lord got around, by the way, of that uh, Egypt being that punching bag, so to speak. You know, so it says, The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snare and the work of his own hands. He gives a lie. See? But as you can see, he's known by the way of the judgment, man. And that's what we're doing. And, and it's not, like I said, it's not like we just saying we're coming up with some random events. No, we're bringing to you and we're bringing clarity and understanding why these things are coming, man. You know? Um, matter of fact, let's go back in Psalms. I think it's Psalm <coughs> 145, I believe. Yeah, this Psalm 145. Yep, and, one, and four. It said, One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. See, and that's what you see now. You got a generation, and, and, and who is that? The prophets, man. Those are the ones that declaring, you know, the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah to another. And what's the words of the Lord? Pretty much the prophecies that have came in the past before, man. You know? Such as the flood, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah. You know? Everything that had, that the Lord have declared in times past, we 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 pretty much uh, is praising the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. You know, it's the and shall declare thy mighty acts, and that's what we're doing. We declaring the mighty acts the Lord is about to do now, such as the causing this great famine, such as like I said, uh, America being overthrown by the way of World War Three, the chariots. You know, divine intervention. We declaring the mighty ass of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It said, I will speak of thy glorious honor, of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works. See? And where's the words? The words is being played out here in America. Because you can say the creation, but it, it, it goes even farther than that. The, the scenarios the Lord has set up. Because prophecy is historical events. You know, that's why it's being declared before it happens. To let you know is the Lord, he he claimed full responsibility for the thing that's about to come down upon the planet Earth. You know? See, when the flood happened, Noah just didn't say it was just a flood. No, he said, Yahweh by Hashem Shai is the one that's bringing forth the flood, man. He, he just didn't say it was a flood. He said it was Yahweh by Hashem Shai doing it, man. Same thing with Moses and Aaron. He said, uh, Yahweh by Hashem Shai is the one that's bringing these plagues. Uh, a lot. He said, Yahweh by Shemal Shai is the one that's going to overthrow Sodom and Gomorrah. And same thing we saying now. 
Y'all by me outside is the one that's bringing forth all the said perils. Because he the one that said it. He's the one that's responsible for it, man. You know? It says, And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible ass. And that's, who we, and that's what it's all about. Because that's, that's what the Lord is known for, the terrible ass, man. Just like I, you know, just speaking on before, those different events before, man. That's what prophecy is all about, those terrible events that happened before, man. You know? And we bring in clarity into it. It's not like it's just, like I said, it's a random event. Uh, and you know how Esau, they like to get technical. It's because this day, the, the, uh, uh, the crops didn't go, grow well this year. That's why this happened. No, it, it, it's even... Is is even a reason behind that? It was the Lord that did this. You know, just like going into different dealing with Edom. You know, the 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 destruction and the demise of Edom. The Lord is telling you why, because of, okay, it says uh, Edom gonna be cut off because you know the violence against your brother Jacob. You know. So we bring in clarity to the judgment that's about to befall upon the planet Earth. It's not like it's random, man. Now, this is all a part of the will and the workings of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. So it says, And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible ass, and I will declare thy greatness. See? And that's how the Lord is known, is by the way of those, the, the judgment which he executed. You know? That's how he's being made known. And we the one that's bringing forth that message, man. You know? Like, out of nowhere in the Famicom, oh, it's Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. It had to be told you first that, that it was him that, that was bringing that forth, man. You know? So, matter of fact, I got something else in Psalms. Real quick, Psalms. I think it's Psalms 65. Let's see. Oh, it probably be Psalms 66. Yo, this uh, this Psalm 66. And uh, I started at once. It said, Make a joyful noise unto the Most High, all ye land. Sing forth the honor of his name, make the make his praise glorious, and and it said make a joyful noise, meaning teach this word. That's the joyful noise, man. It's singing this song. You know, this song is is this joyful noise, man. And that song got a name. It, it's like, you know, it's a it's a song, but the name the song got a name though. And that's how it is with Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. It's the name, but it's the banner that comes with the name. It's a standard that comes with the name, man. You know, though I said, sing forth the honor of his name, make his praise glorious. See? And that's what we do when we teach his word and we speak about the works of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You know, and what he's about to do, man. You know? It says, say unto the Most High, how terrible art thou in thy work. See, that's what it's all about. And like I said, you can go into the creation. Those are part of the works of the Lord. But really, those terrible scenarios the Lord has set up, you know, throughout time. You know, those different prophetic, uh, you know, the Lord, uh, those, uh, what you call it, um, historical events, such as uh, of 7 AD. That's another t um, terrible work, man. You know, that was nothing that you... You in you in the during the seas, you smiling, you happy. No man, that, that, that was a very terrible time. That was a very dark time for the nation of Israel. You in your babies, you know, suffering with that, dealing with that famine, man. That was a terrible work, man. But that's that's what the Lord is all about. But guess what? It's not like like I said, it's not like it's a random event. You know, it's a somehow, some ways, a sudden sequence sequences of events, and that's how Esau like to get technical. That's the reason why. No, it's it's a, it's a more it's a it's a, a deeper plot from your how by Shema Shai that brought that forth, man. You know, really, it's because of wickedness abound throughout the planet Earth. You know, matter of fact, um, let's get that real quick. This is um Second Edges, chapter fifteen, and uh, in verse five, it says. For Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. See, these are all the works of Yahweh Bashim Rashad. This this is actually these di different entities that the Lord is going to bring forth upon the planet Earth. Oh, it says spirits that are created for vengeance. 
You know, that even uh, the sword is a, is a creation. The famine is a creation. Death is creation. Destruction is creation. Those are the entities that the Lord is going to bring upon the planet Earth. And we're in the beginning stages of that. But it's just not for no reason. It's a reason why. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See? And that lets you know this is, is really talking about Esau and his run. You know? See, this is going to cap off Esau's rulership. It's by the way of sword, famine, death, and destruction, man. Everything is, is ripened now for the taking. You know, just like back then when um, us going to the uh, land of Israel, when the Lord actually talked to uh, to Abraham, he told him um, it's going to be a time when the, when the iniquity of the Amorites are fulfilled. That's when we're going to go into the land. Well, same thing with Esau and Edom. It, it's going to be a time when their wickedness is going to run its course. That's when the discretion is going to come, man. So there's always a reason behind the worst and the plans you have by Shemal Shai, especially the terrible works. And all and it's sent around because of this wickedness have ran its course now, man. Now it's it's it is ripe now for destruction, man. You know? So um uh, let's go back to Psalms real quick. This is Psalms chapter sixty six. And um <clears throat> this Psalms it's like your Psalm sixty six in verse uh um, Three again, it says, "Say unto the Most High, terrible art thou in thy works. Through that, through the greatness of thy power, sh shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee." See, and that's what's ultimately going to happen when they see, you know, it's, this 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 uh, America going to be televised, man. The discretion of America is going to be televised, man. You know, people going to actually witness the downfall of this place. And let's just say you don't, you ain't buy no TV. You're going to feel it when the planet Earth shake. When those missiles hit ground zero. Because they're going to add hit other parts of the planet Earth. But America going to be completely wiped out, man. And these other nations ain't going to have no choice but to submit, man. You know, uh, I said, uh, when the, uh, we're going to see New Jerusalem come down from heaven. And that's going to be when we come back to establish uh, judgment on the planet Earth, man. So they're going to submit themselves. It said, all the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Salah. See, and and that's what's gonna happen because these other nations are gonna be forced to follow our law, statutes, and commands. Because that's how it is with those uh, different rulerships. It's not it's not a call to government for nothing. You gonna have to think like I think, cause I'm ruling. Just like Nebuchadnezzar in that time with Nebuchadnezzar, you know, it was a decree that you had to bow down to that image when the when that um when you hear the sound of the music, man. So you had to you had to you had to. Uh, you had to be subject unto his rulership, uh, how his his mindset, that image. You had to bow down to the image. Same thing with uh, in the kingdom to come, the kingdom, uh, the, the kingdom of heaven. You gonna have to bow down to the image of Yahweh Bashmashai, which is this system, the ways of the Lord, man. You know, it said, "Come and see the works of the Most High. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. See, and those those terrible works." You know, and we and we bring it for clarity. It's not like, you know, uh, how the Lord, because he, the Lord, hey, he he do terrible things to these other nations like these goots. Um, I know Japan when they had, I think it was a tsunami. You know, these different, um, you know, these other nations they did, they be um, these different birth defects. Those are the terrible words the Lord do, and we bring clarity to it. We tell that that was judgment from the Lord. The motherfucker must did something, and that's justice in itself, man. You know, a motherfucker might come out with no limbs. It's because, you know, they might have chopped, uh, you know, children of Israel probably chopped their arms off. So now you coming back with no arms, man. See, we bringing clarity to the judgment of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Like a little baby, they get a straight bullet hit a baby. You know, we bring clarity to it. It, was, it wasn't a random event. It was the Lord judging them, man. That's that, that's that, uh, the eating the sour grapes, man. You know, that taste gonna be, if you eat a sour grape, my son ain't gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste that, I'm gonna have that, that, it's that his teeth gonna set on edge. Meaning, you're not gonna get that tingling sensation in your mouth. I mean, your son ain't, you gonna get that sensation in your mouth, cause you the one that ate it, man. You know? So, I'm gonna end off on this, I can, this is, um, this is Sirach, chapter 17. And uh, <clears throat> uh, 
I started I started five. It said they received the use of the five operations of the Lord, and in the sense place he imparted them understanding, and in the seventh speech in the interpreter of the cognitation there. So yeah, we got the five carnal uses, you know, um to see, to smell, to taste, you know, to touch, and um what's the fifth one? Um and to hear, you know. You got those five senses just like everybody else. Even the bees have those um, five senses. But we also have under ten, uh, understanding and, 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 uh, and the speech and interpreter of the cognitation. So we can actually understand and interpret or uh, shed light on dark sentences, man. And shed light and, and, have, and bring forth clarity on things that's in the dark that you shook from the hill from, man. You know, understanding why these certain events are played out. The Lord gave us the understanding of that. It said, counsel in a tongue and eyes and a heart gave he them to understand. See? And that, and that's what it is. And guess what? Because you, you uh, those are the senses to understand. You know? The Lord gave us that to see that, man. So when we see these things, when we hear these things, we and we, we can get it now. Why? You know, you, we tell you America is going to be destroyed. And then we tell you why it's going to be destroyed. And how, you know, this day we bring a full clarity, you know, the judgment of Yahweh Hashem al It said, with all, he filled them with the knowledge of understanding and showed them good and evil. See, and this is the first step of becoming a, a true judge. See, because the serpent, when he lied, he, he lied to Eve saying that she was going to, um, she wasn't going to die. He told the truth, said we're going to be gods knowing good and evil. That's how you become a, a god or a judge. Uh, a true judge knowing good and evil, you know, both sides of the spectrum, man. You know, it says, he set his eye upon the hearts that, that he might show them the greatness of his work. See, the Lord revealed this unto us. See, you just thought that you, it was just another funeral, damn baby getting shot. You thinking about it's just gun violence. The baby just got shot by a spray bullet. Not knowing, you know, you actually understand the words of your how by shot. The reason why is because he was a, you know, a nigga back then, you know, in his former life, man. Or going into just, like I said, going back to Sodom and Gomorrah, the reason why that happened, man. Or the flood, man. Because this judgment is not going to be on a global scale. That's why we ain't once again in the days of Noah. It's not like it was, uh, let's say, it's a random event that's going to be put together. No, it's, 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 a, it's a more uh, plot, deeper plot behind it, man. Because it ultimately is going to show the Lord is once again going to declare his name throughout the planet Earth, man. You know? So this was a necessary evil. This is the Lord using America so he can get his name, you know, declared throughout the planet Earth once again, man. You know? It says, He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever. See? And when you, how you glory, he said, if anything glory in this, that he understand and know of me. And that's how we do that by the way of us bringing forth this word, man. That's how we glory in your house by Hashem al We bring out the word, man. We prophesy. Because that's that's that those are the acts of the Lord. The Lord declare it and then it happened. That's prophecy, man. He declared through his men, then it actually happened. So those, you know, like I said, the creation of the Lord, those are part of the works. But the, the works of the Lord is prophecy, man. That's the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That's what, that's what our Lord is all about, man. Prophecy, man. It says, He gave them to glory in His marvelous as forever that they might declare His works with understanding. See? So that's what we're doing. We're declaring it with understanding. We ain't just saying America going to be the scroll. We're telling you why and how it's going to be the scroll, man. You know, we're telling you why and, you know, why this devil got to be uh, thrown into slavery. Telling you why Obadiah 18 verse got to happen, man. You know, we giving you clarity to it because a nigga was like, yeah, so all white people can't come to heaven, man. Tell me why all white people can't go to heaven. No, man. See, the nigga, man, they've been in America too long. But we said we giving you clarity on the judgment and the works of your how by Shemel Shah. And it said, and the elect shall praise his holy name. See? And that, and like I said, it's deeper than the name and everything that comes with the name. Just like a song. A song got a name, then it got the lyrics to the song. You know? So, yeah, I can I just hold it with Edify. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakakudash.
double honors to the depositing of the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elected teaser word on true, famous sincerity, DTA, and blah, blah, blah.